we start working out, then we start wanting to include bodyweight exercises. So what's the first exercise we start including into our workout? Probably is the push-up. Yo, what up guys? It's been a while since I made a video and I thought I'd make a video on a pretty common topic, push-ups. Now, the thing is when you get into the push-up and you start progressing when it comes to the difficulty, one of the first things that's gonna start nagging you your wrist. And it's a pretty common problem. All of us get it. For some, it becomes such a big problem where we have to either stop doing the push-ups or anything that's related to our wrists and we have to see the doctor or whatever. And for some, it's just a small nagging problem that's always there and we choose to just ignore it and keep working out in the hope that someday it would just disappear because our bodies get strong enough. But just because it's a small nagging pain does not mean you ignore it. Probably a root cause and you should fix it. Before I get ahead of myself, to give you a little bit of context, by no means is this a video to help you with solving the root cause of the problem. What I am here to talk about are ways to work around not giving up on the push-up while actively fixing what the root cause of the issue is. First off, let's talk about warm-up. I know, I know, warm-ups are pretty boring and I used to share the same feelings as well. But over experience, I've learned you've got to really respect warm-up. Your body doesn't give a shit about what your emotions are about a certain thing. It demands you to do what needs to be done. And in this case, your body demands you that you warm up your muscles before you put any sort of stress on the joints. And if you don't, well, we already know what happens, right? So why warm up then? Well, look at it this way. The more you can prepare your muscles before an actual workout, the more prepared and able they are to support the joint in question which is your wrist in this case. This is what I recommend. Spend anywhere between 10 minutes or even 15 minutes warming up your muscles and your joints, depending on the body parts you're gonna be using for the workout. Next, let's talk about creating a neutral position when it comes to your wrist. This will make sure that you distribute the load evenly across the arm, as opposed to putting most of it on your wrist. And what better way to do it than your inbuilt push-up bars? I'm talking about a knuckle grip. So. You perform the push-up the same way. There's not much of a difference, but instead of palms facing down, you go onto your knuckles and the same rules apply just as for any other push-up. And you continue wrapping it up. Now this does get a little bit hard when it comes to knuckles and you start getting a little bit of discomfort but it's not something we can't get used to. And especially when I didn't have my next solution, which I'm gonna get in a minute, this was the way I used to work around the fact that doing push-ups with my palms facing down was actually affecting me. The last solution we're gonna be talking about today is using these, the push-up bars. They're relatively inexpensive and they have a massive advantage. That being, you can go deeper into the push-up as compared to if done on the floor using your hands. And also, same as the knuckles, you have a neutral wrist, that means less pressure on your wrist, but without the drawbacks, which is there's no discomfort on your knuckles because you're not on your knuckles. So in my opinion, it's a win-win-win. That's it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, give me a thumbs up as well. That really helped me out. That being said, if you guys have any other suggestions in terms of what videos I should make, or if you have a different solution for a similar kind of an issue, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try them out in my workout. Peace.